I'm down to one camera again today, and uh, it's not a big problem. It's just I forgot to charge batteries last night. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to work on the rear legs, but first thing I'm going to do is redo the uh, uh, front uh, bridle on this guy and uh, work on the horse's mouth. Time to play with some clay. All right, I made two bits, and now I'm going to uh, start putting stuff together on it. All right, I'm just putting the uh, indication or the connection to the uh, bar that goes through the mouth, across the uh, tongue, and to the other ring on the other side. There we go. Now I need to make a strap that will connect both. Now I need to put my straight edge, which is a metal piece of metal that goes through a filing cabinet file that I pulled out. And it makes a nice handy little straight edge for this type of thing. There we go. Now the mouth has gotten ba banged up quite a bit. So I need to uh, redo that. That's where it should have been positioned in the first place. And I just had forgotten about the, uh, the way it was constructed. So, all right, I'll do this. <coughs> all right, I'll do this on the other side. Got the sneezes today. Line up the strap with the buckle. For those of you wondering why I've got different colored clay here, it's because it's monster clay. And it's only because it holds its shape better, that's all. No other reason. When you do small detail stuff, it's good to have something that will hold that detail. If you think it's easy working at this angle, holy moly, it ain't. Still got work on that mouth to do. All right, last thing I got to do on this bridle, which took me an hour to do. I mean, good heavens. This detail work is enough to drive a person to the funny farm. Again, for those of 
never watched my videos before, I'm painting the uh, blue clay, the uh, super sculpty to look like uh, the surrounding clay so that it's not confusing. Well, the bridle does look a lot better now. Makes more sense to me than it did before. I knew I was, it was wrong. I just couldn't figure out what it was that was wrong. And I figured that out over the weekend. All right, now I'm going to start working on the back legs. I don't know how far I'll get because I've only got an hour left that I can be in the studio today. And I'm going to do as much as I can with my uh, one mount on the uh, table here. <laughs> Sometimes you're going to have too much light on a subject, and that's why I turned off that one light. You start drowning out the uh, shadows, and it's your shadows that you're creating, your art artwork, your sculpture. All you're doing is moving shadows around. That's what, he, that's what a sculptor is, is a shadow shaper. Shadow shaper see that properly <laughs> we shape shadows till they look uh, familiar Alright, this is going to have to do it for today. I've spent too much time on that bridle trying to get it uh, right and uh, not complaining. That's just one of those things you have to do. But uh, I'll continue on these legs if I see fit to do it tomorrow. I, I can put this whole thing upside down. Uh, I've done it before. I built, built a jig that uh, I I, well, I'll, if I do it, I'll show you what I do. Uh, it's just something I've done before, and it's not that hard to do. It's just time consuming. So anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, 
Please, if you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button if you like my video or our videos and uh, click the bell so you can receive updates. Also check out my link below this video to my nine instructional videos on how to sculpt in clay. Now I know it's in a western mode but everything I show you on those uh, videos you can put it apply to anything you sculpt. So it's just a uh, I, I, what I do is I basically give you over 50 years of my experience sculpting in video form with the different hacks and shortcuts that I've been able to come up with to make something that seems very hard to do. Well, it, it, I make it look like it isn't that hard to do. I, that didn't make any sense at all, did it? <laughs> anyway, I think you understand my point of view there. Um, so anyway, that's going to be it for today, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Have a great night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.